So, hi everybody. Um, I hope you're having a great day today. Yep, the weather's outstanding, and uh, I'm actually on spring break. So when I uh, emailed Will and said, "Well, when is your, uh, you know, um, well, he said we only do it on uh, Thursdays now instead of Fridays, but you know, I'm in San Francisco every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday." And uh, when I told him I'm on spring break, uh, the week after next one, if I come by, just so that would be great. So uh, thank you for having me. Okay. And um, just so some of you know, um, I mean, there are some familiar faces, obviously, Lendo and, uh, of course, Will, and I think that's about it. Wanda, of course, but she's up, up there. Um, you're probably wondering how I am associated with Delta College. Right. Well, first of all, I live in the valley, so how can you not be associated with Delta College? Um, I actually um, took um, uh, the uh, technical theater and lighting classes uh, here at Delta uh, back in 1981 and 1982. So shortly after that, in which I got in the film industry on the camera side and became a camera assistant and started. So my history with Delta goes back all the way to uh, the early 80s. Um, both of my sons just last May recently graduated. Um, uh, one son with an AA in RTV, and the other son got two AAs, one technical theater and one in acting. Um, so we definitely have been a Delta family for a long time. And when my son was uh, in the RTV program, he grabbed his old man to come and help on a lot of projects. And uh, I got to uh, meet um, a lot of great students and uh, friend many of them. I had my 20 years of shooting exclusively on film, but depending upon the type of project, who the director is, stuff like that, remember it's 25%. All right, so I'm going to probably work in the 75% because most of, you know, I mean, that's where a lot of the uh, work is in the industry. Uh, but we have um, filmmakers like Quentin Tarantino and director uh, of photography, uh, Robert Richardson. Uh, a lot of these fine craftsmen to thank. Um, you, I, um, uh, you guys know that um, uh, Quentin uh, uh, bought the uh, old uh, Beverly Wilshire Theater. I think that's correct. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but just you know, um, make Thank sure you. that it's the correct one. Where um, all they do is you just screen only film prints, you know, uh, because Quentin Tarantino will only shoot on film, will only see. so they have the two, you know, Christie you know, uh, synchronous projectors in there going reel to reel and, and uh, they project. And if you take a look at the um, uh, monthly, you know, calendar, of course they'll do like a week long of nothing but Reservoir Dogs and a week long only of Pulp Fiction, but he brings in some great masterpieces. I mean, Sam Peckinpah's The uh, uh, Wild Bunch and uh, Lee Marvin in the, in the Derby Dozen, you know, all of these great, you know, epic cinema pieces that are still film prints. All right, and then they'll just project them only optically on the film. Doing it in a real fashion way by just working way up through the ranking system. Um, it was uh, jumping uh, into the swimming pool uh, with untested water, the deep end, off of the ultra, ultra, ultra high diving board, all right? And uh, you just, you had no choice but, you know, you had to, you had to swim, you know, you had, or at least be afloat, you know? And uh, they were they were uh, great opportunities, you know, um, uh, to work with some uh, excellent directors of photography and other cameramen who basically taught me along the way as I was, you know, going through the system. So you have a great opportunity here where you can learn from working professionals, you know, uh, not just myself, but Mr. Story and others that have had the opportunity to work in the industry come in and give you their time and their experience. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a great industry to get involved with. I, it's, I call it the, the entertainment industry, all of it, all right? That would be theater, that would be, you know, uh, TMZ and Inside Edition, all right? Yeah, which a lot of you guys probably, you know, love that stuff, right? Well, that's broadcast journalism, all right? Um, and, uh, you know, television work and then feature work, you know, and, and, uh, and all that stuff. It's all the entertainment industry. So we're all entertainers, you know. Yeah. So that just gives you a little bit of history about uh, myself and how I started that. Um, you guys have a much better advantage because you're already in a formal educational program learning about whether it's radio broadcasting or television broadcasting, news journalism, or even cinematic storytelling on a narrative or on a you know, feature or on a short you know, um, uh, movie type basis. 
Um, all of that stuff is, is invaluable for you to just grab onto and try to learn as much of it as you can. And there's a lot of great uh, uh, resources and, and books and all sorts of stuff. What I'm actually leaving with you guys is um, um, these are all uh, SOC uh, publications, meaning Society of Camera Operator publications. We publish our own um, uh, magazine uh, three times a year, and some of these are old. All right, but you know what? The stories in them are never old. Maybe the technology will look and you go, mm, that camera that came out like five years ago. It's like passing yeah, now. But the stories are great. The experiences, just hearing from the uh, words from camera operators and camera systems and cinematographers, what they do. Um, this is kind of like to add to your library. So you know, check them out when you're done reading them. Return them so the other students can. There are like two or three copies of each, but they're and everything else that's part of the story to get him along the way. But here's a problem. As soon as that actor opens up his mouth and starts speaking dialogue, then the visual aspects of storytelling stop, and the story then is moved forward by the content of the spoken dialogue. So then every time an actor speaks, guess what? I don't get to tell the story visually because the content of the dialogue is moving the story forward. My website now I'm redesigning it so it's actually offline. So I'm trying to put together a photo gallery also. But eventually you'll be able to see pictures of behind the scenes and stuff like that of projects I've worked on. But as far as a particular camera goes, let me pull this one up, all right? So this is my camera, which is uh, the red MX. All right, and it's on an airy head. You can see the wheels right there. All right, it's got a um, uh, Cook S4 prime lens on it, which the lens, this one, is a 135 millimeter lens, which is about $75,000. Oh my God! <laughs> 75. So I don't know. Lenses. Oh my God! Right. So I'll bring it around to you. So this is an actual narrative um, feature level camera. All right.